good day, good day, good day, good day, good day, and welcome to the video. So on this video, I'll be attempting to show you guys how you can calculate um, percentages at a quicker rate without even using your calculator. So without wasting any time, I'm gonna do some examples, which um, this method that I want you guys to learn will apply to. For example, if they were to normally uh, give you a question where they ask you to find 50% of 10, for example, if they would ask to find 50% of 10, we know that that would be half of 10. And then half of 10, we know that would be uh, 5, right? Same thing applies. Whenever they ask us to find a half or maybe quarter, I do not believe it's much easier to calculate uh, the answer for that uh, type of question because we've been exposed to such a uh, type of questions from a young age. But then, uh, for example, again, if I were to say what is 50% of 40 you know that that would be half of 40 what is half of 40 that would be 20 so it becomes easy to solve such type of questions and then now the question is what about if they ask us to find um 20 percent of 40 now this would be a bit different from finding the half for example half of 40 would just be 20 because that is half of uh, 40 but what is 20 percent of 40 now because i know most of us can use the calculator but then what can i do let's say i'm writing an exam where they don't require us to use a calculator. Um, so this is how you normally do it now. So you come to this number, it's 20% and also uh, 40%. So this two, this zero that you have here, and also this zero that you have here. So you we'll just ignore them for the meantime. And then the numbers that are there, just go and multiply the two of them. So it will be two times four. So you just multiply the two numbers as they are, which will be two times four. And then we know that two times four is what? That will give us eight. Né? So that will give us eight. So meaning that eight is our answer. So 20% of 40 should be eight. Because <laughs> that's how quick and easy you can get. Just need to ignore the two zeros. The zero for 20% and also the zero for 40. Then you map the two numbers, which are uh, the other remaining numbers. So it will be two times four, which will be eight. So 20% of 40 is eight and then if you've got a calculator you can test it on the calculator and i'm going to show you you'll get the same answer so i just say now um they ask us to find uh, let's just say 30 percent of uh 40 now you see they want us to find 30 percent of uh of 40 now 30 percent of 40 so again remember first step we do you ignore the two zeros né? so now once you ignore the two zeros it will become 3 times 4. So this means it will be 3 times 4. And then what is 3 times 4? 3 times 4, we know that the answer is what? It's 12. So 30% of 40 should be 12. So same thing applies. You can use any other number. Not necessarily 40. It can be any other number. But that's the same method we still apply. In. So just, uh, let's just try and see uh, if I can just try one more number, which would be defined from 40. Because so far we've used only 40s and I want to uh, want to make it seem like this method only applies to when they want us to do 40. Let's say now um, uh, they ask us to find uh, let's just say 30% of 30% um, of of 10 for example 30% of 10 for example so again same thing applies the zeros we will ignore them right so it will just become three times one so once it becomes three times one what's three times one remember it will be three because any number times uh one is cost that number so that's how you do it quickly same thing just do another bigger number now 70 percent just say i want us to do 70 percent of um of 20 for example 70 percent 70 percent of 20 again same approach the zero ignore the zero also the zero so it just becomes seven times two what is seven times two that is 14 which becomes your answer so 70 percent of 20 is 14 and then just one more before we can make this video as short as possible let's say now they want us to find um 80 percent now let's try 80 percent of maybe a bigger number now 80 percent of let's just say of 30 
80 percent of the eighty. Okay. So again, same approach. Zero, zero. We ignore them. Ne? So it just becomes eight. Eight times three. So that becomes eight times three. And then what is eight times three? Remember, eight times two will be sixteen. So eight times three will be sixteen plus eight. That will be twenty-four. 8 times 3 will be 24. So 80% of 30 is 24. That's how we normally do it quickly without even using calculate. Just ignore the zeros and then map in the numbers as they are. So I hope this will be helpful. I think to all the grades, especially when you're doing maths, sometimes your calculator can run out in the exam or something can go wrong. Even lower grades, because I know at lower grades, especially around primary level, they expect them to find uh, different type of percentages of different numbers. This method, I hope it will help each great. Thank you very much uh, for your time guys and I uh, really hope once more that this was useful and please uh, comment on the comment section if maybe um, some of the things didn't make sense or if maybe you found this as useful and also please subscribe to the channel and yeah thank you very much